What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Can't be. Is it? I, I don't know. It, it, I know he's got a solo project. I don't know what it's called, though. This this might be. There aren't too many Doyles out there. Uh. uh anyway, uh, yeah, making his debut on the channel 2. Tonight! Tonight! I don't know if it is or not. It just says Doyle. So we have Doyle. Yes, indeed. How about that? Doyle making his debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbidi bibbidi bob, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Frank Canini, and it was also the winner of the Patreon request prioritization poll, winning with 40% of the vote. Moving from number 722 in the queue, straight to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. They all want to see me react to this. It is Doyle with a song called Run For Your Life. Run for your life, run for your life, boy. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm confused with the name. Now, okay, the, the reason I'm confused is, it, it, I, I'm not sure. Is this Doyle Wolfgang von Frankenstein? It, it, is this the Doyle from the Misfits? It, it, is this him? Uh, <laughs> I'm a big fan. <laughs> I'm a big fan of his work with the Misfits, but I gotta be honest with you folks, I've never, and I shame on me, I, I keep meaning to. I know he has solo projects, but I've never checked any of them out. So this may very well be Doyle Wolfgang von Frankenstein's solo project, at least one of them. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't imagine there are too many bands out there named Doyle, so especially considering who this video was posted by. Uh, the video was posted by Official Doyle. Now, it doesn't say Doyle Wolfgang von Frankenstein. It doesn't say that. It just says Official Doyle. But again, how many Doyles are there in this world? I don't know. We might see Monster Man. I'm hoping it is. I hope it is Monster Man. I guess we'll have to wait and see. And uh, anyway, the video has 382,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Doyle, run for your life, official music video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Ah, uh, yes, there's that word official coming off of the official Doyle page. Yeah, uh, there it is. Look, you know what I'm gonna say, so I'm not gonna say it. Let's just you know, hope for the best and wait and see what happens. I really hope this is the Doyle I'm thinking of. I do. I've been meaning to check out his solo work for a long time. I've just never gotten around to it, so here we are. At least I hope it is. It could be. Something completely different for all I know. So anyway, I guess we're let's let's find out, shall we? All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this.
Black Five. I think it's Black Five. Da -da 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 F sharp. Well, they're play. They're play. They're probably detuned out a half step. So, yeah, it's it's a flat five root. Uh, now the chorus. I I didn't catch the chorus. I didn't catch the key. Let me just check it really quick. Okay, yeah, interesting. So they're they're basing their song on F sharp, but they're going down to D for the chorus. Okay, so F sharp goes to D, to C to D to C, back to F sharp again. That flat five. Da -da 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 -da. Interesting. It, it it's. It's not complex. It's not it's not difficult. Um the notational selection is a little interesting. Basing the song, like I said, basing the song on F sharp and then transitioning and modulating down to D, or actually they went up to D uh for the chorus. So the D is now the new established root going down to the seven for the C, the flat seven, back up to the D to the flat seven, and then going back down to the F sharp. To go back into the main riff of the song. It's a little unusual. You won't hear that chordal progression too often. Um, but it works. It, it, it does work. It does sound good. It's just a little weird. But it, it, it does sound good. Um, I think what's impressing me more than anything is the subdivision work. Uh, it sounds really good. The vocalist sounds good. I, I got no I don't know who that is doing the vocals, but it sounds really good. Um the drum pattern sounds good. The, the guitar playing sounds good. It, every, everything sounds really good across the board. I got no issue with anything that we got going here. Um, I'm not going to lie, man. When I saw Doyle, my heart jumped. I was like, yes! It's him! It's Doyle Wolf, Wolfgang von Frankenstein! Yes! 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 Jesus H! God damn it, Christ! I felt good about that. Um, Let's keep going. Let's see how this goes. There's some Misfits influence there from a subdivision standpoint, but tonally, chordally, didn't sound anything like the Misfits at all. Um, really nice. Really nice song overall. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Doyle with Run For Your Life. Uh, this was a request from Frank Canini. 
and it was also the winner of the Patreon request prioritization poll, winning with 40% of the vote. Moving up to number 722 in the queue, straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. Okay, I thought about this and I do have a rating and uh, the rating's gonna require a little explanation. Not a lot, but it, it I do feel like uh, some explanation is definitely warranted. So let's start off with the rating first. Out of a possible five stars, I'm gonna give that four stars. Yep, four out of five stars. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Yeah, for those of you who are like, oh, he's a Misfits fan, you know, he, he's he's gonna give this five stars without question. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, I have always prided myself on being objective on this channel, and I have said many times, um, I, I, I just don't see, like, my favorite bands like Kiss, they're never gonna get a nine, please. They're, or in this case, they're never gonna get five stars, I guarantee you. Uh, they, they may get some four-star ratings. They, they, they will probably get a few four-star ratings, but for the most part, they're gonna be three stars, more than likely. Misfits, same thing. Uh, a lot of three stars, maybe some four stars in there. Um, but there's no way the Misfits are ever gonna get five stars with me, I'm sorry. And listen, I, I and don't get me wrong, I love the Misfits, I do, I'm a huge Misfits fan. But looking at their songwriting and, and their, their, uh, their their songs as a whole, I just, I can't justify giving that five. There's no way. Uh, listen to this song. Listen to how the song was constructed, how it was written, how it was uh, arranged, how, it was, how well it was executed. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you folks. I was wrestling between three stars and four stars. I, I was, I was kind of going back and forth between the two. Um, you know, high threes versus low fours. And I'm like, okay, so where where is this gonna end up? And I decide on going on the four star rating, but I'm gonna be honest with you folks, it, it's down there. <laughs> it's down on the fours, but still getting a four. Um, the song was really good. It, it, it's a really good song. It is catchy. Uh, the chordal progression was definitely ear catching, especially in the main riff, in the verse, in the F sharp. Uh, going up to the flat five the way it did flat five to the four to the flat three back to the root again da -da 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 -da. you know it, it sounded really good it, it was ear catching it definitely got your attention what did it for me more than anything else though i mean and, and don't get me wrong i love the modulation up for the pre-chorus up to a and then going up to d for the uh for, for the actual chorus I, I thought that was really smart. I, I, I thought moving around quarterly was a very intelligent way to go. It helped keep the song from going stagnant, uh, which was really nice. But I'm gonna be honest with you folks, what did this song for me more than anything uh, was the subdivision work, the accents, da 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 da, you know, on, on the uh, on the on the verses, or da 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 was it repetitious? Yes, it was repetitious, but because it's a rhythmic pattern that is being done repetitiously, it really hammered that rhythmic pattern home. Uh, that pattern is gonna stick with me for a while, I guarantee you. Um, that, that That's smart. That is definitely smart. Uh, it, it's, it's gonna make it stick with you, and that's what you want. When you write a song, you, you want to you want to write a song that's going to stick with people. It's going to leave an impression. And don't get me wrong, that the chordal selection was nice, but what really did it for me were those rhythmic patterns. Really, did, really well done. Um, as far as musically, look, Doyle's he, he's a he's a solid guitar player, man. He is. I, I love how he plays. He plays so intensely. Like he doesn't strum the strings. He hammers. The strings and I, I remember reading interviews with Jerry only where he would say you know they would they would do their meet and greets whatnot after the show and they would go backstage because Doyle disappeared never came out of the dressing room uh, you know and there's Jerry going backstairs to check on his brother and there's Doyle with a tube of super glue and, and a roll of scotch tape literally ta gluing and then taping his finger the skin on his fingers back together again because his fingers would be so bloodied up, cut up, and basically destroyed 
from being sliced open on his guitar strings because he doesn't he doesn't strum man he hammers and hammers when he plays he's a lot of fun to watch he, he really is man it's a it's a lot of fun to watch how intense he plays um it's not good for his health though but uh, am I ever gonna sit here and say that he is an amazing guitar player? No, I'm, I'm not. There are so many other guitar players out there. And he, he's even said it himself. He's not, a, he said it himself. He's not a guitar soloist. He's not a guitar virtuoso. He's not gonna sit there and sweep pick and tap and do all the other stuff that a lot of other guitar players are able to do. He's gonna keep it simple and he's gonna, he's gonna hit hard at his own words. <laughs> he's, he's gonna be a hard hitting guitar player. And he definitely is. Solo, very typical Doyle style, short, sweet, to the point. Very basic sounding solo, but it got the job done. Um, and the same thing can be said for everybody else in the band. The drumming, the vocals, the bass playing, it's solid. It's absolutely solid. Would I ever say great? No. Would I ever say impressive? No. Would I ever say mind blowing? No. It's it, it's solid work from everybody. It is, and it definitely got the job done. But I'm not gonna sit here and go, oh, it was the most amazing thing I've ever heard in my life. No, no, no. No, it's not. It, it was it was well done, though. It, it absolutely was. And, and like I said, four stars. I am giving it the four stars, like I said, more than anything for that syncopated accent work, for the syncopated subdivision work. Uh, that's really what moved it out uh, three to four. Um, but it's... It's, it's debatable, but I, I'm sticking with four. So, four out of five stars. It's a low four. Don't, don't get it twisted. It is a low four, but it's still getting four stars nonetheless. So, four out of five stars. I feel good with that score. That's where we're gonna stay. So, four out of five stars. Final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.